Arlington, Texas. Tell us what you're launching, how many cars, how widespread will it be? So in Arlington, we are launching three different services. One for the game day, one for lunchtime service, and one that connects the convention center to the Texas life, the entertainment part of the city. And to start with today, the launch is, the service is starting today. We're starting with three cars with the potential to expand as the need and demand for the local community grows. And, wh and what kind of cars are they? They'll be the same car as we had in uh, Frisco. It's an NV200 platform. Frisco and the Dallas uh, Fort Worth. Dallas Fort Worth. Yeah. So three cars, that doesn't seem huge, but it's the beginning. It's the beginning. And as we want to tell you, the size is only one way of looking at it. We want to be very careful and deliberate because safety is another concern. And user acceptability is core concern. We start small and grow fast. How much do uh, riders pay? Riders pay nothing and anybody in that area can access this service. In Frisco, we had only mobile app. In Arlington, we have a mobile app and a kiosk and the pickup location. They can, you can walk up to the kiosk and enter the, your name and your phone number and you can get it. How ride. long is the path between three cars here and you know, the dream of anyone in any city you know, hailing a driverless car? Actually, that depends on three factors. Because safety is one thing. Can we safely deploy? And as you know, the second factor, driving is not a one problem. Driving in San Francisco and in freeway are two different problems. So we want to make sure that we take a small problem and solve it and then grow from there. To that vision, it will require third component, regulatory as well as the user acceptance. We don't want to push the technology when the people are not ready. We want to solve one problem at a time and grow from there. So you have found a, uh, a friendly uh, local government here in Texas. Um, but stepping back, you know, how, how do you compare the regulatory environment in the US versus, say, China, where there are several companies that have, uh, that have active trials in cities? Yes, so regulatory environment is only one aspect and some uh, countries are way ahead of other countries, but the real problem is that the safety. Even if the regulation is not there, as a company, as an industry, we have to be responsible, deliberate, how do we approach it? Because there are certain approaches where we think regulation is a hindrance. We look at regulation, right regulation is the right way of to approaching it. So Texas is not friendly in the sense of they are not aware of sense, um, safety, they are only saying that they are future looking, that how do we balance future need and today's progress. Okay, we're both followers of Uber. Uh, Uber, of course, one of the companies betting big on self-driving cars. Do you think as they move to go public that they will, uh, as has been rumored, welcome other investments, spin off the self-driving car division? Uh, I, as you said, I always look at the industry and other people doing it, but I cannot comment on anything specific to a company because I have no insider information, you might.